The story, of course, starts out in the Garden of Gethsemane, out on the hillside outside of Jerusalem. And it was there that Christ took his disciples to pray. And he knew what he was facing, although the disciples did not, in great anguish. He cried out to the Father, Lord, if there's any way that this cup can pass from me, if there's any way that I can do what you wanted me to do without having to be sacrificed. And it was then that Christ was able to say, well, Father, not my will, but yours be done. And of course, one of the things that Christ knew that he was going to face was the fact that he was going to be betrayed by one of his very own disciples. And he knew that Judas had already sold him out. And when he came, he actually identified Christ with a kiss. And he was taken before the, the court. And he was mocked. He was beaten. And he was subjected to, to scourging. And even after all of those torments and those wounds, and he was so badly beaten that he needed help in carrying the cross. When they got to the top of the hill, they actually nailed him to the cross. Between two thieves. He was wearing a crown of thorns that had been placed on his head, mocking him as the king. And hanging on the cross there is when he spoke the words, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. The grave where he lay, they had rolled a, a large stone over the opening. Sometime in the night, the grave had been opened. And the man that everyone thought was dead had risen from the dead, and the tomb was empty. And Christ wanted to be there, not to be any doubt at all. And so he actually appeared 
to his disciples and showed them the wounds in his hands and in his side so that they would believe that he had come back from the dead.